Now that we've learned how to create an index, we will need to then search that index for relevant data. The search index module performs the actual search using the index generated via the create index module. Unlike the file name search, the contents of the file are searched as opposed to just the file name for the user specified search words. You can choose from multiple indexes if available by using the drop down index box as shown here. To perform a search, select an index to search. Multiple indexes can be specified by clicking the More link under the drop down box. Next, simply enter one or several words and click Search. You can select a search for either any or all of the entered words from the advanced search options. You can use wildcard characters, the asterisk, or the question mark in your search terms to search for multiple words and return larger sets of results. An asterisk character, for example, in a search term represents any number of characters, while the question mark represents any single character. An exact phrase search returns results where the phrase of words are found in the same order that they are specified. For example, an exact phrase search for the words green tea would only return results where the phrase green tea appears. It would not return pages where the words green and tea are found separately or in a different order such as tea green. You can precede a search term with a hyphen character to exclude that search term from being included in your search results. For example, a search for cat space minus dog would return all pages containing the word cat but not the word dog. A word list file allows the user to specify a file containing a list of terms to search for in the currently selected index. This effectively performs a bulk search on the list of terms automatically. Results from the bulk search will appear in the history view from where they can be opened and viewed. The word list file should place each search on a new line. Lines starting with pound are comment lines and will not be searched. A double pound sign at the beginning of a line can be used if you actually need the search term to start with a pound sign. Example search word lists have been provided and will appear in the default directory when selecting a file. For easy access it is recommended you put your own search word list files in the same directory or replace those that are pre-installed with OS Forensics. Here's a look at the directory that stores all pre-built and custom word lists added by a user. You can choose to edit an existing word list or create your own from scratch. The word list directory is located at the highlighted path displayed here. Once you open a list you will see how they are formatted using a single line per search term or phrase. Single word terms require nothing but the word typed out. If the search criteria includes more than one word per line, you will need to wrap the search phrase in quotation marks. Here are the results of a search using a word list. And we can see each search term being searched for and the number of instances in it is found in the index being searched. For a more streamlined view, click on the Browse Index tab to see only the words located in the index and how many times it is found. You can also quick filter these results by using the String Search filter at the bottom right hand.